What is going on people of YouTube? My name has to be Kurt Yo. Welcome to a brand new video. It's game week 24 preview. I'm doing this a bit early because I have got a busy schedule coming up. I have uh, I released one team review, which you may have seen. Uh, team reviews where I review people's teams and give them tips and you might learn something from it as well. But also gained two more before the next one came out. So I now have five instead of four to do. So going to spend a lot of time, you know, because it's been, it I take about 15 to 20 minutes each time, you know, sort of looking around, you know, at players, working out the best method to get the best players in and using up or neutralizing every bit of cash they've got. And also with the um, the price rise and fall, I've got to be very careful of because if the video is a, a second later, um, it could be like the whole hit video hinges on um, players and their price rise. So, you know, I could be in a you know, a bit of a sticky bother when it comes to that one. As last time, I don't think Ericsson had gone up, and now he has. So, it's all it's all part of the deal. But welcome everyone to another preview. Um, game week 24. It's a it's a, it's after the FA Cup, but it's midweek. So I thought I'll give myself a chance. I might do a follow-up video after the FA Cup is done with, just so you can get sort of a recap on everything. But I'm gonna give you three players each position who I think are gonna do well, who I know are gonna do well, because I've been right a lot of the time recently. And I've never put players into my team, so I'm beginning to consider putting them players into my team. But we start off with goalkeepers, as per usual, and I'll be able to search them from here. First up, we've got Mr. Adrian from West Ham. Not known for keeping clean sheets. In fact, if you have a look at West Ham so far this season, five clean sheets. Um, admittedly, it's been seven because Liverpool and Newcastle he was sent off for after he... Um, well, actually, yeah, after he fly-kicked someone in a Leicester game, just that it's an added time, so didn't really deduct any points from it but he's in there because if you look at the foot and look at the team he's playing Aston Villa it's got to be a clean sheet really hasn't it moving on to the second keeper um, this one is a bit of a shock actually I don't, need to, don't even need to do that he should be down actually no he won't be because he's barely played but no he, he is I'm sure he is there he is no not him other one oh I'm just going to go on to West Brom and look at Mr. Ben Foster, who wasn't actually there because he was on seven points. But Ben Foster, um, he's come in, played his first game. I believe he's going to take back the goalkeeping spot in hopes of Joe Hart, Jack Butland and Fraser Forster all getting injured before Euro 2016. So Ben Foster then has to come in. But, you know, he's had a decent start. Midley home against Aston Villa, clean sheet. But, you know, looking at West Brom, who have they got? Swansea. I can see that being a clean sheet. And... Uh, surprisingly, um, I'm going to put the other goalkeeper as the other person in this game, which is um, Mr. Lukasz Flabihanski. Flabby, Flappy Hansky. I sort of mixed the actual name and his nickname together. But he, so far, six clean sheets, you know, three in the last six game. Yeah, three in the last six games. So I had to do a little bit of maths there. And for me, I'm looking at him thinking, definitely worth a shout. Coming against West Brom, um, definitely the favourable out of the two. And they're looking, you know, better. Um, at the moment, they're slowly rising up the table, leaving the rest of the teams to battle it out. Also, one thing to note, West Brom are not out of it yet. Neither are Chelsea, and Everton are coming worryingly close as a two are Crystal Palace. Because if they start getting points, all these teams, if they don't pick up points, will be in danger. That's the goalkeepers done. I've raffled on a lot, so I'll try and get the defenders done pretty quick. Um, starting off with actually another West Brom player, and his name is Craig Dawson. Put him in there because he's the most, or the probably the best um, defender they've had so far this season. Looking at his bonus points, recently picked up two and also three against Aston Villa. You know, likes to get up, um, you know, a few bonus points. Nice to actually play well. Uh, a lot of good chances as well, and I think he's definitely worth the punt, considering I believe West Brom are going to get a clean sheet this week in a boring 0 0 draw. Next up, we've got a Spurs player. Um, a defender, surprisingly, actually, one defender is the same as the goalkeeper, which doesn't usually happen. But I've put um, Mr. Eric Dier in, cheapest Spurs defender. And also, if we have a look here, Mr. Vertonghen is out with a knee injury. That is huge. That could also mean, in the future, if he's out, let's say, a report comes for the rest of the season, maybe Kevin Wimmer could have a chance. But it also means Dier would be playing further back. But for 5.3 million, I believe, is definitely worth the gamble. And then, for the last defender, we've actually got an Arsenal. Oh, sorry. Almost coughed. Arsenal defender is the cheapest one that's secured to play. Mr. Nacho Monreal. Actually, Mersacre hasn't received his ban yet, so... Is weird. But anyway, um, Nacho Monreal, 
for the simple reason, cheapest defender and Arsenal are coming up against a tidy little fixture against Southampton. I believe they'll get a clean sheet in that one. Done. Moving on to midfielders. Got to be quick because I've got a lot of things to do. Starting off with West, West Brom. Who am I kidding? They're not going to get any points. Um, Mr. Dimitri Payet. Been out for a lot of games so far this season and also still easily their highest goal scoring midfielder by some way. The unsung hero of that team, Kuyate, coming second with Mark Noble, the other unsung hero, coming third. But Dimitri Payet, only 20% of people have picked him, so I suggest more people get him in there, but dull few games against Newcastle and Man City. However, biggest coming up, Aston Villa, so get him in your teams. Moving on to the second, back to Spurs again. Uh, second midfielder is actually uh, Mr. Deli Alley. Now, 5.7 million. The reason I'm saying get him in ahead of like Ericsson, who might be in a bit of form at the moment and is in a bit of form looking at his last two games, is because he's 5.7 million. I mean, you look at him, 5.7 million gets you six goals and six assists so far this season. That can easily be going to 10 goals, 10 assists. And he's playing further forward. Now, the, the injury might hinder him. Meaning he can go further back, but he also did damage being further back, as you can see by the goal of two assists. So it won't slow down. 5.7 million is definitely, definitely worth it. With the fact that also I believe Bentaleb has come back into fitness. You've also got Carroll that can sit back in there, Dembele as well. So you've got loads of options. You've got loads of options for people to, that can sit in that role, as well as Dier still as well. And um, that's why he is in there. And lastly, we've got a Liverpool player, Roberto Firmino. Hit a bit of good form recently, 13 and then 18. But also, not only that, you know, good, in good performances like against Leicester, who gave himself an assist. He also had a decent game against Man City. So I believe he's starting to you know, feel his way into Liverpool, so especially because he's a player that likes to play the um, Jurgen Klopp way. And I believe it's definitely worth taking a risk on him because he could score big points. And now finally the attackers, and I will say it again to people that haven't maybe listened to me yet. Get Benicophobia in. Look at Lewis Graben, who played the whole season for Norwich. And, well, you got more points than him. So he scored a goal, in fairness, which is better than, you know, some people. But Benicophobia, bring Benicophobia into your team. One reason is that he's going to score goals. I'm sure of it, having watched Championship football, he's a quality player, and I'm sure, you know... Friend of the channel, Dave has a party also. Being a, you know, he moved from Wolves, can tell you that he, he likes to score goals. Number two, two, well, 0.4% of people have got him. He's already scored two goals his first three. So, you know, looking at that, 6.1 million, you get him in now, people are only going to get him in later when he's already scored a lot of his goals. And looking at the teams that are coming up, you've got Palace away, you've got Stoke at home, you've got Watford away, you've got Southampton at home, Newcastle away, Swansea at home. They are games in which a phobia will definitely look to score in. And it's a it's mind-blowing if people don't get him in. 0.4% is the reason why I'm putting him in there, because... It's a scorer that most people won't have. Moving on to the second player, my rant a little bit over. We've got West Ham forward. It's a bit strange having one in there. But Enna Valencia banged in a few goals against um, Bournemouth, banged in a few goals against Manchester City. He is now hot property. And coming up against home against Aston Villa. Come on, come on. You know, you don't need to, you know, do your maths. Put two and two together and get Enna Valencia is going to score quite a few goals again this season. He already scored two in his last three games. He's got, well, that's the only goals he's scored so far this season, but he hasn't really played much, so there we go. And lastly, um, one thing I was surprised about, um, well, I wasn't surprised about in Sergio Aguero in my team. I mean, look at, they've got Sunderland away. But nothing I was surprised, 25% of people at the time of this recording have Sergio Aguero. How is that not higher? 25% of people there is a huge reason now why you should get Aguero in your team. 25% of people, that's another 75% that don't have him. When he's banging in two or three goals every week, you're sitting there thinking, ah, rolling in the money. They've got to pay extra then to get him in. It's a no-brainer. Sergio Aguero in, Benicophobi in for the duration of the season. You can get, maybe if you've got like Lukaku and Giroud or Lukaku and Kane. Get rid of Kane, you can get Phoebe. And then to get the funds up to Aguero, there you go. Easy. But thank you guys for watching, nonetheless. Sorry about a little bit of rants, and if it's a bit too long, I do apologise. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, then leave a like. Let me think in the comments down below, and subscribe if you feel like I am worthy. Let me know who you think are going to do well after, of course, the FA Cup break. But thank you guys for watching, and peace.